तो हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू सेशन एट द नॉट वी आर हैविंग द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम ऑफ आवर बायोटेक और डीसी इंजीनियर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वांट टू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग योर टूल्स प्लीज द टाइम ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम एग्जाम कोर्सेज वीडियोस व्हिच यू हैव सीन रिड्यूस नंबर ओके सो वेरी वेरी थैंक यू फॉर दैट but now we are going to deal with the subject called of diagram for ec engineering okay. so since you all have been demanded for all the topics and all biology for ec engineers we have provided you all the question bank for biology for ec engineers okay from all the five modules also in the wrap up we will provide for model paper solutions the meeting side and have the model paper for subject biology So now let's. Uh, I have uh, created some of the very important questions from all the five books. Around fifty questions by analyzing the previous question papers, modern question papers. Okay. So it's a PDF. This is in the PDF form. It will be available in our description. Again, I'm I'm telling you it will be available in our description. Okay. Please visit the description and download this PDF. Okay. It will be useful for you. Meanwhile, I'm going to just uh, uh, tick some of the very important uh, questions. Okay, which you can refer it. Okay. These questions, whatever I'm telling you, please uh, do learn this from all the modules. Okay, I'm just going to scroll and show you some of the very important questions. So this is the first question from module one. That is differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Okay, so these are the parameters of uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. That is size, nucleus, organelles, cell wall, ribosomes, complexity, and its examples. And based on that, we are having the differences between prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic. Its size, its nucleus, organelles. Beautifully, it is. Uh, we have divided it, and you can uh, uh, note it down. Okay, it's a, a very very important question. This first question that is differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Okay, it's very important. So this is the additional notes about uh, the, some of the important sub definitions that is DNA, reproduction, cellular cellular processes. So all of its definition, it's uh, we have given it provided it here. Okay. So one more important question is describe the basic components of eukaryotic cell. Okay, what are the present inside a, a typical eukaryotic cell? Okay, that we should be representing it. And for this biology, for this subject, right? If you want to score marks, this is a, a two credit uh, two credit subject. Okay, so if you want to score marks in this, what you should be doing is whatever the, the sub headings I'm right I've highlighted in, in black, right? Those things you should be writing it point wise and explaining it in your own words in such a way that. the presentation of the answer should be in a very neat manner okay so if you do it in a very neat manner and you should be writing the weightage in such a way that for example if you have a question of 8 marks minimum 8 to 10 points you should be mentioning okay for that question beautifully in a neat order you should be mentioning in order to score the maximum marks for that question okay so like this uh, you should be writing the exam so this is a other one more important question that is describe the basic components of eukaryotic cell so uh, these are known as the components here cell membrane cytoplasm nucleus mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus ribosomes lysosomes cytoskeleton vacuoles chloroplasts etc okay so these are known as the some uh, uh, definitions of all the parts you can note it down again describe the basic components of prokaryotic cell again it it consists of a cell wall cell membrane cytoplasm nucleoid ribosomes plasmids capsule flagella pili etc and uh, all of its uh, definitions is uh, involved here okay so you should be writing it all in the neat point wise order all the parts okay and you should be explaining it in a single single line okay yeah so one more important question is differences between plant cell and animal cell okay from module 1 this is very important again it could be asked again its parameters cell wall and what are the uh, changes which is present in cell wall and uh, cell wall for plant cells as well as animal cells okay it is present in case of plant cells absent in case of animal cells and chloroplasts these are all the parameters vacuoles whether it's present or not present and what and all are the in how much quantity it is present and what is the role of those uh, parameters in this plant cells as well as animal cells you should be mentioning it okay then centrioles lysosomes glycogen storage shape etc okay so this is one more important question so please learn this question okay the differences the differences till now we have discussed about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and plant cell and animal cell so these two questions you should be learning it so the next question is what are carbohydrates write the properties of carbohydrates with examples okay a uh, simple definition of carbohydrates along with some of the its properties that is hydrophilic sweet in taste energy source structural support storage cell recognition digestion etc on all of it you should be writing in uh, point wise or manner okay 
The next question is functions of carbohydrates. Again, some of the important functions that is, it is an energy source, structural support that is the complex carbohydrates such as uh, in plant cells, what and all are the structural support present in the carbohydrate should be helping in our body to be in a shape manner. Okay, then storage, cell recognition, digestion, some of the additional parameters are immune function, blood clotting, cell signaling, fermentation. These are the few important functions related to carbohydrates which you need to be mentioning. So this, I guess this might be coming for around the six to seven marks, but mostly it is of six marks. So if you write any six points, it's enough. Okay. So this is not so important. Okay, you can skip this. So yeah, this is very important. What are the properties of hormones? Okay, again, this might be coming for six to seven marks. Then some of the properties you should mention in chemical nature, specificity, potency, circulation, regulation, effects of uh, uh, hormones. Also, it is they have given it here. There it affects in the growth and development of the body, metabolism, reproduction, stress response. That is the stress parameters which is present in our body that can be controlled or it would be more. Uh, with respect to the change in hormones okay mood and behavior it depend, depends on the change in hormones again okay it could be it could be influencing our, the mood and behavior from time to time okay so this is very important properties of hormones so applications of lipids again structural components energy storage signaling communication and other some of the functions you can note it down so yeah this is very important what are the functions of vitamins so its definition and some of the key functions you should be noting that is energy production it is a essential for growth and development immune system it would be improving our immune system it would be also improving the cell function it would be improving our vision okay based on that vision we would be having different vitamins named named as vitamin a and vitamin c okay these are good for vision uh, in case of blood clotting uh, vitamin k is essential for blood clotting okay then in order to improve our vision vitamin uh, we can uh, take an example i can eat carrots then uh, bone health antioxidant production these are the few points then uh, uh, this is very important and multiple times repeated this question which i have analyzed i have seen in many, many question papers that this question is repeated that is explain the steps involved in the construction of cellulose based in water filter okay this is very important construction of cellulose based water filters what and all are the construction methods and what and all are the materials to be used cellulose fiber uh, pleating or cartridge formation binding activated carbon housing these and all are the methods the materials used are carbon ceramics ion exchange re regime reverse osmosis membrane ultra filtration membrane etc okay so this is again very important properties of cellulose based water filter that is porosity absorbency biodegradability cost effectiveness ease of maintenance limited contaminant removal so this is also very important then PHA, PHA are very, is a very important and uh, one question related to PHA is uh, definitely asked that is justify PHA as a bioplastic and explain the properties of PHA. PHA stands for polyhydroxyalkanoates, okay, PHA, okay, you should be knowing it, the full form of PHA, it's justification, some of the key points you can uh, note it down, then its properties are biocompatibility, strength and flexibility, water resistance, barrier properties, thermal stability, etc., okay. So yeah, uh, note these important key, key points here, okay, you can write even these points and you can explain this in a single single line, okay, yeah, these key points you should be remembering if you want to learn, then you can easily simply form the a sentence related to that point in your own words, okay, but whatever are the key points are there, right, when you write the answer, you should be highlighting it, you should be knowing to highlight those key points, okay, because the evaluator would be seeing those key points and with respect to that key point, they would be thinking that you would be having some knowledge about the concept and they would be giving you marks blindfolded, uh, blindly. Okay, so that's why what and all are the key points which I've mentioned it in a dark black, bold black. Please try to write those points. So this is again very important engineering applications of PHA. Okay, all of this food packaging, cons consumer goods packaging, then medical applications, automotive industry application, textile industry applications, all of them. Okay. So this is again a very important that is how DNA vaccines for rabies work and what are its advantages. Uh, DNA vaccines works and its advantages it's uh, mentioned here. It is, it is available in the description, the PDF. Okay. So please visit that description part and uh, take that download that PDF. Okay. It would be useful to you all. Okay. So next one more important set of question is what are proteins? Mention the functions of proteins. Uh, one simple definition of proteins, its functions. Okay. All of them. Structural support, enzymes, hormones, transport, immunity, cell signaling, energy storage, etc. Then what are the applications of protein in food production? Okay, these are the applications. So this is one more important question that is what are lipids and mention it function in biological system. Okay, lipids and functions of lipids, all of them. Okay. 
I'll explain the production of biodiesel from lipids. Okay, again, uh, this is very important. Production of biodiesel from lipids. Okay, this question. Uh, the process uh, for production of biodiesel from lipids is called as transesterification. And what and all are the biodiesel production processes which should be helping for the breakdown of this transesterification? That is oil or fat excretion, pre-treatment, transesterification, separation, purification. The purification is in must. Okay, after all of the process, the purification part you should be mentioning it. Okay, and some of the advantages of biodiesel: renewable, reduced emissions, improved air quality, support for local economics. Then uh, explain lipid as a cleaning agent. This is one more important question. Some of the points I mentioned it here, so you can read them. The next question is, uh, this is also important, which are the sources of uh, lignolytic enzymes and, and explain its role as biobleaching sources, then the uh, role of lignolytic enzymes and some of the advantages using biobleaching that is environmental friendliness, improved pulp quality, reduced energy consumption. So this is the module three, some of the important questions I have uh, tried to uh, analyze you, to you all. That is uh, module three is brain as a CPU system. Okay. So this is the first question, describe the architecture and function of uh, CNS and PNS. This is very important and multiple times repeated question. One question would be fixed related to central nervous system as well as peripheral nervous system. Okay, it's a uh, beautifully, I've mentioned it to you all. So please uh, go through it once. Then uh, this is not so important. So this is important. What is EEG? EEG signals and types of brain activity. EEG stands for electroencephalography. Okay. EEG stands for electroencephalography. It is a non-invasive technique used to electrical used to check the electrical activity of the brains. Then EEG signals, what and what are the wave forms? That is delta waves, theta waves, alpha waves, beta waves. All of it you should be mentioning it. Gamma waves, signal strength. Then types of brain activities also. It's uh, mentioned here. Some of the brain activities are epilepsy, brain tumors, sleep disorders, dementia. Okay. Then Parkinson's disease, one question would be fixed to ask, okay. What and all are the Parkinson's symptoms? That is a deep brain stimulation, exoskeletons, virtual reality therapy, smart home technologies, wearable sensors, etc. So next, next module is eye as a camera system, okay. Then one question related to this is very important and fixed question that is describe the architecture and functions of rod and cone cells in the human eye, okay. It will be coming for around six marks and multiple times repeated question related to eye as camera system, okay. Rods, its functions and all and uh, along with that, its functions and architecture, I have mentioned it to you all, you can once go through it, okay. So this is the uh, part of the retin retinical cord of the eye, okay. It's uh, mentioned here, this is the retinal cord of the eye where the uh, vision would, vision is enabled from this part only, the retina part. Okay, so you can go through it. This is the photoceptor part. Then some of the cone cells in human eye, all of its points. Okay. Then optical correction, different types of optical corrections is also there, eye wear, eye glasses and all. Single wave lens, you, you, you can see them. Okay. So one question related to working principles and potential benefits of bionic eyes, okay. So it's working principles and all it's mentioned here. So you can refer that PDF, okay. So next module is heart as a pump system, okay. This is one important model and one question related to architecture of human heart. In our, our, along with that, you should be uh, able to draw some of the human arts which is present in the heart that is arteries, veins and all, all of them. Architecture, okay. It consists of walls, epicardium, myocardium, endocardium, chambers. The chambers are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricles, all of its, okay, it would be uh, helping the pumping the uh, pumping of blood of uh, both kinds that is oxygenate, oxygenated as well as deoxygenation, uh, deoxygenated bloods from the chambers such as arteries, veins, aorta, all of them, okay, you should be mentioning it, okay, then pumping process of blood, filling phase, contraption phase, atrial contraction, ventricular contraction, valve closure, all of its uh, process you should be knowing, okay. Then explain the design principles behind stents used to treat them, all of them. You will be writing it. Then discuss the functions and engineering consideration in the design pacemakers. Okay. Pacemaker design, this is very important. It will be coming for 7 marks or the pacemaker functions. It's mentioned here. Functions of para pacemaker, monitoring heart rate, sensing, pacing, mode selection. Okay. Then uh, it's, uh, engineering consideration, all of them you should be writing. Okay. So let's go to module 4 now, that is uh, echolocation, okay, that is related to ultrasonography and sonars. Again, one question related to principle of echolocation and medical and ultrasonography would be asked for 7 marks. Echolocation principles, it consists of emission, reflection, reception, interpretation and all. 
medical ultrasonography probes the image, imaging technique borrows the principles of uh, these and all comes under the principles of echolocation probe sound emission reflection and reception image formation etc all of them and its applications we also mentioned here you can note it down okay so next topic is photosynthesis are, are related to photovoltaic cells and bionic cells okay so some of the questions are mentioned here you can note go through it okay so that's all rest all the rest all the questions are there in the pdf okay it is available in our description so please go through the description okay by clicking the down part of the video the description part would be getting opened and the link would be available for this uh, pdf okay so download that pdf and refer this okay and what and all are the important questions which i have discussed in this video so please uh, make a note of those questions and try to learn those questions and when you try to write the answers i have told you right you should be writing the answers in point wise okay point wise all the main points you should be underlining them okay because the evaluator will be checking those main points they would they won't be having the patience to checking each and each line okay so that's why what you know the main points which you know uh, generally that you should be marking it okay so that you would be getting beneficial marks okay yeah so that's all please like share subscribe guys and show the support show us the support for the upcoming videos also since till now we have support uh, showed huge support for this channel okay you should be continuing this now okay because we are going to provide you some of the more interesting con co content in the future part so please like share subscribe guys and stay updated to this channel okay that's all thank you